Alright guys, we're going to be running the first second Vakil wiki upgrades um, run. So that starts in 3, 2, and 1. So yeah, this will be the first one. Uh, there's a bit of different strategy with this. So the run actually ends when you trigger the cutscene for the final wiki upgrade. And so what that means is that um, you don't actually have to beat the game and so you don't have to collect all the Barbaros parts. All we have to do is get up to Mad Science, trigger Bone Lich, beat Bone Lich, and then that's it. We don't even have to beat Mad Science. And so because we're not beating all the levels, you actually get to skip one level for each world because you unlock the boss fight in each world um, before completing all the levels. So some of the strategy is choosing which levels to skip. And I based a lot of that decision off of uh, the IL world records and whichever one was slower. So for world one, you could cut out Fountain Guardian or Goblins. According to the world records, Goblins is about 10 seconds slower. But that's accounting for Fountain Guardian uh, having good RNG. I chose personally to cut out goblins because my goblin flute is pretty bad because of my audio delay. So I reckon Fountain might just be better to play. Um, for World 2, it would be a no-brainer to cut out Isaac of Prosperity because he's by far the longest run. But the first wiki upgrade's in Icicle, so unfortunately we do have to play through that. So instead I cut out Keeper because Keeper is 30 seconds um, slower than Crystal Key. And also, I don't think, do you, I'm pretty sure you start with only Crystal Key, so you would have to do it to unlock Keeper and Prosperity anyways, um, I think. And then for Volcano Caverns, that was a real no-brainer, cut out Dragon Scales, that level is long, it's awful, I hate the tennis, so yeah. Even with that RNG, like a fight still isn't as long. Relics I don't really like, but time-wise it's not that bad. You know, so hopefully we get all the Bone Lich first try. I was practicing, but that was like two days ago. Shouldn't be too bad, as long as my Wii Remote doesn't miss like every input, we should be fine. Okay, talk to Chucky. Okay, that was a good camera fan. Rose. <laughs> Man, any run that requires you to start a new game, this is the part I hate most. A journey begins because it's just text, 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 text. Actually, no. The only part I hate more is any percent, 100% of the secret treasure because they actually make it to the end, Barbaros Land. That's actually probably more text, I think. But hey, this run, we don't have to do Barbaros Land, so that's nice. I like the level, but it's bad in speedruns. Otherwise, I'm doing it casually. I love the level. It's one of my favorites. Probably number two, just behind Operation Take Back. Okay, Johnny just went flying into the base of this ship because it was right above us before in that cutscene. He somehow escapes by doing that though. We don't know how, Johnny is just a magical man. And 
there we are. We jumped out of the plane. Let's see how fast we can do this falling section. Eh, not too bad so far. We could have took the umbrella out of the box a little bit faster. And we accidentally pressed the wrong button there. It's too much talking in this space level. Okay, get ready to shake down. Yes, there's treasure. Wow. And there's a plane that's about to drop on us, but it's not really a real threat, because of how slow it moves. Wow, how intense. That was a really bad centipede grind. There we go. Sort through that bloody thick tree. Dude, I, I, I tell you, man, these centosaurs, they are sharp. They're just cutting through these trees like it's nothing. Okay, that was a little bit weird. Don't know why it just stopped. Split. Actually, as well as we're skipping through all this text, I should actually confirm that we are in fact timing. Okay, yes, good, we are timing. Otherwise, you'll have to do, waste another 8 minutes of my time. Wouldn't be too fun. At least we actually do skip the longest chunk of the game, though, from this run, because we skip Return of the Legend Great Chase and Treasure Island, which have like oh, just text walls. So really, we only have the beginning text walls and like the fast levels, and that's it. So I, I don't know how long this run's going to be. I'm going to guess anywhere from an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes, I think. Sounds reasonable enough. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see.
Ordinary Pirate Rookie. Just now, I'm not actually too sure if it's faster to meet everyone or not in this run. I'm just gonna assume that it is. For us is case. <laughs> All right, and now we can continue. All right. This, it's been a while since our last like run where we're doing multiple levels because I've been doing ILs a lot recently. But we have mastered key turning and we've done a bit of practice on pits, so this should be a lot better than all of our previous pits in any percent. I actually think I'll be doing an any percent run soon because... I might do an any percent run soon because I've got a lot of time save now. Well, time save potential. And then I go and do that, <laughs> which was just sad to see. Okay. Uh, it sometimes messes up on pit. Works well for everything else. Pit is the only one it hasn't worked flawlessly on, which is stupid. But a bit of tragedy. I should just rename this level Key of Tragedy. Those centerpieces are just floating, yet it takes so long for them to fall. If anything, they should have fallen first. I just realised how stupid that cutscene was. <laughs> okay, good, we're just in range of that. I thought for a second we might have been out of range, but nope, just right. Again, I'd like to state that wiki upgrades should not only make you attract coins from further, but it should also itemize enemies from a larger distance. Just to make stuff like that convenient. I was saying that during one of my many recordings of Mad Science Practice, when I was just a couple pixels too far from the snake during my beginning movements. Alright, we're not going to be doing goblins, so that level's going to stay as you for some time. Well, just forever, because I'm going to delete this file afterwards for an 80% run tomorrow. Or whenever I next get to do it. File 3 is of my delete file. File 1 is my casual 100%, which is nearly done. Just need 140,000 more Harami Q. File 2 is where I do some of my IL practice that I can't do on my main profile because of secret treasures. On that one I like got out of the game in the middle of the credits so it wouldn't so it would have all levels cleared, but it wouldn't trigger the secret treasures yet. 
which is something Hero accidentally did in his 100% run, but I'd done that way before him. Um, and yeah, I just didn't really think much of it. But that's my IL practice. And then... File 3, I just delete and create new files for any runs that require multiple levels on a new file. I can do the world runs on file 2, because no secret treasures and all the levels are completed. But yeah, can't do it um, on file 1, because then secret treasures will constantly be popping up. Made sure to get all the working upgrades on file 2 yet. While I was actually practicing for this, I decided I'd just grab all the wiki upgrades on my file too, so I'd have the blue wiki for um, my IL practice, because it just looks nicer. Pretty sure that's a unanimous decision. <laughs> like, that's just a unanimous agreement. Blue wiki looks the best. Which means the designer succeeded at their goal of making Wiki look cool when it got upgraded. Okay, now the weird ball rolls around. Now the even weirder, bigger ball comes rolling down. Why it has a goblin face on it is unknown to me. I can just notice that all the rocks in this room have like a hexagon pattern in the walls. That actually looks really good. Yeah, I never noticed that. All the wall tiles are hexagons. <laughs> And hopefully we don't do what Hero did and get all the way to Relics before we realise we didn't get the first wiki upgrade. So that would be really bad. Okay, next is Found and Guardian. Hopefully we get good RNG for it. Alright, come on, first rock. Still has a really nice atmosphere. I used to really hate it, but now I just love it. Like, the music's good, the atmosphere is amazing. The whole level, like, the whole map is on this blows. Okay, is it gonna be in our lucky rock? Okay, what about our final chance rock? Okay, it's in our final chance rock. All the rocks have names. We have Optimal Rock 1 and 2. Our Lucky Rock. Our Final Chance Rock. And the Satan Rock. Oh, this one also has those hexagon patterns. I'm just like admiring the architecture in this run of all the buildings in the jungle ruins. <laughs> Yeah, I've named all the rocks in Beyond the Guardian. I wonder if anyone actually like watches these videos. I wonder, whoever's verifying this, do you watch the? F are you gonna? Are you watching the full video, or are you just like watching every second or third split, making sure everything's legitimate, and just checking the timing at the start and end? You know what? 
I'm gonna make a prediction out for who's gonna verify this. Won't be me, because I can't self-verify him, and that's just not what you're gonna have to do. It won't be Bowser Jr., because he has verified things since being mod. It'll either be Hero, Snake, or maybe Hydras. I reckon it's gonna be Hero. If you're listening, Hero, hey, how are ya? Been eating ham sandwiches recently? See, it works on this one. It, it's legit key of tragedy. I'm not even kidding. Only key in the game that doesn't consistently work for me now. Glitch peg leg mate. By goblins. We're not doing you, we're just gonna go and kill your king first. I'm predicting a sub half hour jungle ruins. Don't know, can't see splits. I'll probably look at them uh, during the cutscene at the end of this level because that's fairly lengthy. It's enough for me to change my mod on the source back and forth without uh, wasting time, I think. It's got the shiniest bloody head. Gonna do the good old kathum kathum. Okay, good pole saw. Or stick. It's not really a pole. The poles are the thing in like Lake of Fire.
Oh, but you didn't do it. That was the worst bell ring we've ever done yet. We really kind of stuffed that one, didn't we? That would be what? 10 seconds of time waste? Ah, uh, let's go j let's do a pessimist. We lost 20 seconds. That sounds good. So anyone else that does this run will already be 20 seconds ahead of us. By default, because I won't be that stupid to do that, what I just did. How have we already done the crystal key? Okay. I don't really know how we did any of that. Oh, because he missed three colossi. That's why. Alright. Well, that was a little bit stupid. <laughs> well now, isn't that just dumb? <laughs> Didn't put three colossi in the body splits. How many other levels did I forget? Okay, accidentally clicked on Granny. That's another, let's say, six seconds. So I got about 26 seconds behind. Okay. I ran this level for three hours to get to tie a world record. I, I, I have a... I have some resentment towards this level now. It's not worth resetting for good RNG.
Hopefully we can get enough. We've been getting better at Keeper. So we should be able to get a good um, Keeper time in this run. Okay, give us a good key mount. I've done this countless times now. Can't even tell you how many. That there was the best ever key melt in the modern in IL. I'm pissed. <laughs> but no, I'm not playing Crystal Key again. Just to break the title record. Not for at least a month. And this is actually the level where I perfected my key turn. See, like that. So I found the flawless strategy that works on everything except Key of Tragedy. This whole run's commentary is just gonna be a big old rip on how much I hate Key of Tragedy. That's all it is. Okay, we get to skip. Oh, wait, no. Why am I talking about keeper times? We get to skip keeper. We're doing icicle, because we've got to. Because <laughs> we need the wiki upgrade. Alright. We're not going to skip Bone Lich. We're not going to pull a hero. And how can I ensure this? We're going to do Bone Lich right now. It's actually the most optimal time to do it right at the beginning of the level. Alright mate. Should be enough. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, good. It started to get a little bit fidgety at the end. So it's actually after. So as soon as you press A on that text, is where timing ends. Should have moved a bit closer to the ball for that. Smack. Thank you. 
It's been a while since I've seen Red Wiki. Okay, we missed the mole cycle. What is that? Okay, that was a little bit clunky, that drill. Oh, that was a bad silly grip of crap. I don't talk much in this level because it's exhausting. Alright, off we go with the bomb. Why does it do that? I don't rotate the Wii Remote or anything, it just happens. Seriously.
stop freaking doing that. Okay, good. We're our splits are on track again. Yes, we did mess up the jungle ones because we didn't have three colossi in there for some reason. Okay, let's hope for some decent frost breath RNG. Now you get to see the Frost Breath cutscene with like the red bow. I wanted to, you know, just move the chest away from the big ice lion and then try and open it. There's only a trash map in there, so it shouldn't be too heavy. <laughs> I like how the goon that gets sucked into here is never heard of again. Unlike Wiki, you don't see him go you don't see him in there and you don't see him come out like they all supposedly survive but you see no evidence of how the goon gets out he's like ejected out the back like through the ceiling of the temple at mark speed or something oh we've got optimal rng for it that's nice Not having to race it is always a good thing. Let's see if we can actually get the cycles right for this. Okay, we did it. We got a cross breath. So that saves lots of time. Not having to wait for that animation to play out. Now let's see if we can do the same for this next one. 
I think I found a faster way of doing it this time than what I normally do. Because normally we go for Rose first. What if we take the mirror with us, bring it up, place it, then grab Rose, put her across, put the idle mirror in. That should be a lot faster. A lot faster. Yeah. That, 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 instead of that, that, that. We just walk through rows. Okay, Zach. Cool man. Zach is a go. Zach is dead this whole time, and it's just a. Dr it's like the biggest Matt Pat FNAF thing. <laughs> biggest, like, bloody. Everything. They're dead all along. They're just in a coma. They're dreaming. Zach's a ghost, guys. He's dead. He doesn't realize it, and his body can't. He, his soul isn't at peace yet. Yeah, okay, that was much quicker. Love that you're in a corn horn on Chilion. <laughs> Alright. World. Two out of four done. The run is halfway done. Okay, no, there's technically we do five worlds, but it's like one of them is one level. The run is approximately halfway done, I think. Then again, the next levels are going to be a bit longer. Probably about one third done. What time is our frozen temple split? 47. Not too shabby. Let's get a good RNG on the Simon Says Puzzle, just, you know, prove this really horrid run. Only we get a five one, we got like the easiest five one. It's so easy to do.
Well, I couldn't let any percent runs have RNG like this. Damn. Going way too fast on that. Gotta say though, this axe has some pretty good balance balancing on these stone platforms that are being raised entirely just by magma streams. Like, those things would tip so easily. Like, why would he even need the pole in Barbara Land if he's got balance like that? Okay, lake of fire next. <sighs> okay, good fang RNG, please. <laughs> Pot. Wrong body shape. Second part. That's some nutty RNG there.
Okay, we don't really have the best parting for the goon totems. Kind of messed that part up. Never understood whether just random pedestals, like there, there. Uh, there's one down there, I think. The only ones that make sense are these two, and then the one for the secret treasure under the big rock. Okay, pretty decent soaring. Oh, I saw through the full thing, mate. Okay, there we are. Are we still sub one hour? Probably. I reckon that's probably a sub one hour lake of fire. I'll check once we tab out an ancient worm. The boss ending cutscenes are the only ones that are long enough for us to actually like uh, switch sources and check how we're going. Whoops, oh, why did we have to click on bar for us, man? Hmm. <laughs> We've done it for Barbaros and Granny, that completely ruins this run. <laughs> this is where Hero got up to before. <laughs> He realised that he had missed Ricky, which is very unfortunate because he wants to get a run in the lead, and now he's got to do it all again. That would have been a pain. He would have wasted a good hour on a run that's just dead. That would suck. Oh, well, he'll probably find motivation to do it again another time. Think about it. The more realistic it seems for like a snake to be living here, snakes would love how warm it is here. Given that they're cold blooded. As for the spiders, nah. Don't know why the hell the spiders here. Anything like. Worse than spiders being here, be if there were frogs here. 
because how the hell is a frog meant to live in a volcano? It would be drying out. It's like fun. Let's do the teleporting glitch here. After this cutscene. What are these things pinned to? <laughs> like, because they're they're rotating on an axle. What are these axles connected to? They're just floating. All right, ancient mode is next. Operation Take Back in Barbarossa's Castle. Well, some of it. I think we get to skip Mirror Mirror. We definitely aren't doing Return of the Legend or Mad Science, but we, if we're lucky, we skip Mirror Mirror. I'm not too sure if we can, though.
The baby's about as big as Zack. He's so short. I wanted to go backwards. Okay, thanks for having terrible aim. Lower the platforms. Sakun there, cowering in fear. And let's knock at the hammer glitch here. All right, good. Those of you who don't know what the hammer glitch is, it happened, in, it happened in one of my runs. So pretty much, we put the goon totem on, and I don't know, like the cutscene just didn't play, so I thought, hey, maybe we skip the cutscene somehow, even though it was our first playthrough, because, you know, it was an 80% run, it's a new profile. But what actually happened is it placed the goon on, but it didn't raise the hammer for some reason. which was kind of strange. And so rather than restarting the level, I just ended the run. Because I, I couldn't be bothered at that point. It was on really good, it was on world record pace, so like just a couple seconds behind it. And that just completely demotivated me. This off child, why do I want to talk to you? Let me try out a new movement here. Because I like this angle we're at. Rather than trying to do like the weird bridge movement, what if I just try and click on the land on the other side and then change my movement once I get to the ladder? Okay, it works, but it's a bit finicky. We just have to find the thickest piece of land to do it on, but that, otherwise that works really well. It's a little bit hard to get those things moving. Pretty good. 
We've got a good cycle on the Spellosaurus with the hammer. Sometimes she can resurface on the other side of the map and you have to wait for her to move back over before she can hit the hammer. Which is a bit annoying. Oh, well, this movement is so good back to the chest, except for that. Why couldn't I do that on an IL? Just overall, that movement was pretty good. We can definitely steal Ancient Worm World Record from Bowser Jr. Maybe tomorrow or tonight. Probably tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll do that in some world realms, and the day after I'll do full game 80%. Okay. Yeah, we're making pretty good time. It was sub hour Lake of Fire. Yeah. Oh my. This is turning out pretty decent. Hopefully it's only three more levels. Hopefully it's Operation Take Back, Bell Tower, Painted Secret. I think it should be. I'm confident we don't have to do Mirror Mirror, but I could be wrong. Let's not die by going too fast, okay? Number one goal, don't die. Number two goal, beat the level very fast. But not too fast if we die. Reposition my blue mode. That was all over the place there.
It's no real rush for this. Yeah, we had to wait for him to go through the door anyways. Okay. this level quickly. I think I can sell dinner soon. Gotta finish this run quickly actually. I got two more levels after this and then it's gotta quickly do Okay good good. It wasn't in this room, it's in that room though. Do you imagine if I can just like shoot the plane somehow? It would be so stupid and so annoying. Frog, go that way. Yep, good, good. Get on her. Look at how she's just made bow rendered powerless by a mere frog. I can definitely smell food. Alright, pressure's on to be fast. Oh, skipping these cutscenes would make it a lot faster, wouldn't it? Yes, map's gone. I took it. So I was an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes, I reckon we're definitely going to fall in that range. So we had a pretty good prediction then. Intention is like a really long time to use the elevator so that there's no possible way to call it down in time uh, before they come in the room, so you have to go around the long way.
because then we just sort of that now and then I realized wait they take a really long time to use that and this goon goes ahead a little bit during that cutscene again to make sure you can't do that you wouldn't even be able to begin calling the elevator without getting caught the way they paste it all Yeah, we'll be about maybe an hour and 35, hour and 40 minutes. Oh, but we still have that rubbish layout thing for the jungle ruins around. Whoops. Yeah, this is a pretty rubbish layout that just got slapped together. <laughs> Oh, does this cutscene really have to last this long? Come on. Yes, we know Rose is going insane. Okay. At least that part isn't as long as I remember it. I, did, I never noticed the plane on the top just falls off. Granted, it's falling off very slow. What is the gravity in this game? <laughs> I think it's got so many rings spinning around it because we haven't been doing all the levels. It never looks like that for me because I always do all the levels as I go. Should have, I think, seven rings around it. Not rings, so like uh, spheres, circles, wisps. Yeah, wisps. I like wisps. That fits. Now, this level shouldn't take too long. Ah, we nearly made it up there. If we didn't have that little movement slider, we would have made it up before the moon did its thing. Oh, it's so long. I know what happens. Creepy skull. Yeah, I wouldn't be touching people's dead bodies, but you know, a pirate's gotta do what a pirate's gotta do. That resets the moonlight, and it's gonna. Activate the Moonstone or whatever it's called. I think it's a Moonstone. It's like Pokemon. I could be wrong though. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a moonstone. No, I shouldn't be collecting money, that'll activate Maddie. Okay, one more level left. And then we're done. Finally. And Senki Belt. <laughs> you know, it would have been eight. No, it would be. Uh, yeah, okay. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Ignore me. I'm just thinking about the wisps. No, I'm pretty sure it would have been seven floating around it. Yeah, it was seven. Now there's six. Okay, painted secret. Final level. I don't know why that movement never works after the moonlight. It's so stupid. You ever notice the signature at the bottom of that painting? But now that, like, the, I know they all would have it, but never noticed on that one. I noticed it on the tree one. Why am I pressing there? This one's like had good RNG that the movement is really just falling apart.
paint broom. Yeah. I don't think this one has a signature, does it? No, this painting doesn't seem to have one. This thing never works. I need to bloody grab the sensor and move it. So stupid. And it's only on that movement. It's the only one in the game that doesn't. That is the last level done. Now you seem to upgrade a wiki you won last time. So, timing ends. After the text is done in the cutscene. So we click on the chest, skip the text, end time. While the cutscene plays. Okay, so we do get to skip Mirror Mirror. Let's do mad science, yeah. Do you imagine if we just like didn't get the first wiki upgrade? Like I know we do because this book is red, but like if we didn't and you get to mad science, you'd want to really just punch yourself good, wouldn't you? All right. I'm focusing just because I really don't want to have to do this twice. Okay, that was enough. All right, click on chest, skip text. There we are, done. Text, as soon as the text disappears, it worked. The end time. We did it. All right, that's GG. One thirty seven eleven. All right, that's it. Um, definitely stuff can be improved on that. Movement was bad, RNG was 
on the good side, but can still be a bit better. But yeah. Whoops, why did I do that? Okay, hang on. Oh, I can just like go menu. Where's my cursor? Here it is. Oh, looking at it on my bloody camera feed is so bad because of the massive delay. There we are. Okay, we got it. All right. Uh, yep. So that's it. And I'll probably be improving it later. I need to fix the splits and add in uh, three colossi. But yeah, other than that, it was pretty good. That's all.